folks, this is Josh Sterney Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We are here in Indiana with Tractor Time with Tim. So if you guys don't know who Tim is, Tim is a tractor guy. He is a compact tractor guy. He uses this little John Deere 1025R to do things that I wouldn't hardly do with my 5065 tractor. <laughs> Tim, tell us a little bit about your channel. Well, uh, actually, you already did. We yeah. use our little tractor. We use uh, Casey, our mini excavator. Cool. and whatever equipment we've got to, to do projects for folks. Cool. You know, so it's not just here on our property. Oftentimes it's little projects for DIY types in the suburban area. Gotcha. And that's ends up what we do. We don't really know what we're going to, what kind of project we're going to have. We like to help folks that are DIY rather than just go in and do a project for someone that's complete. Yeah. That's the kind of thing we do. Yeah. So, guys, the way I found Tim, and the reason I'm here, is because we're on a road trip. We're on the road trip for Farm Stock 2018, and Tim was one of our stops along the way. And the reason I found Tim is because I was looking about how to seed grass, like how to get grass seed to start for our lawns back in the day when we were just getting our farm started, and I found Tim's videos. So I thought, man, it'd be really cool to come and meet this guy and shake his hand and say hello and introduce all you guys to him. So I think when, when you're putting all this together for working with a tractor or starting a homestead, you need to compile information from different sources, from me, from him, from what is it, Guy in Wyoming? He does a lot of tractor stuff. So if you're working on stuff, you got stuff breaking, there's YouTubers out there for that. If you're working on stuff in your yard and you want to plant a beautiful little garden in your backyard, there's places like this. That's right. Yeah. There's a lot of things that the manual just can't describe. Yep. yep. Right? I mean, there's many things about how to use a tractor that the manual doesn't help you with. And it's hard to actually lecture someone on how to do certain things on a tractor. I yep. can't begin to explain some of the things that we actually accomplish. But I'm hoping that by people watching how we go about solving the problems that maybe they can't say, oh, there's a little tip or there's a little trick yeah. that we can use on our own tractor, on our own property. And the coolest thing about being in YouTube is that when we have trouble, we have you guys that can give us the answers. A lot of times we get into trouble, we have you guys. And there's no feeling in the world like hitting a rock this big with your rototiller and looking back and seeing that clutch smoking, is it? Have you hit one yet? Oh, I've hit a lot of rocks, yeah. but uh, yeah, that doesn't go so well, does it? We took our brand new rototiller, dropped it in the ground the other day, and we're doing a deer food plot. And I don't imagine you have a lot of deer food plots around here, but <laughs> we're doing a food plot and I hit a big old rock and that thing just looked back and I was like, man, something smells funny. That thing was just back there smoking. Slip clutch so, was slipping, yeah. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. I got mine so tight uh, recently I had to have a big eight foot crowbar <laughs> to, to, to get the rock out of there. It was, it was jammed, jammed really <laughs> tight in there. So yeah, nice. but you know, the tiller is probably one of my favorite tools. Yeah. I, I love the job that it does and I, I've learned through the work that we've done, I've learned a lot of different things that we can do with a tiller. You know, yeah. not just garden tilling. You know, we use it for landscaping. We use it for a lot of other tasks. You have 200 acres on your property, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a huge space. I see you put equipment here and equipment there and equipment yonder. Yeah. Yeah. I'm envious of that, to be honest. But so what we have to focus on here with our half acre property and more and more attachments every day that we get, um, we focus on ways to efficiently store our equipment. Yeah. This, this shed here is 24 by 24. It's two or three layers deep with attachments okay. as we go back. A lot of it's on rollers and things like that. So we'll have videos sprinkled in occasionally that that describes some of the techniques we use to store you know unique attachments and things right. like that. It's, it's interesting. We also talk about the shed itself, you know, the construction of the shed, how it's insulated, we have it air conditioned here. Another thing that we do on this channel a lot of times is bigger farm equipment. Yeah. My family has a, an ex, uh, has a farm, um, a fairly large farm, and so we uh, visit that farm, we talk about the techniques that they use to plant and grow the Midwestern crops. Uh, a lot of times we get some up close views of maintenance of the, the tractors and the combine equipment, things cool. like that. So that's, you know, it just gives a little bit of variety to what we do here. Tim was telling me that he grew up on a family farm. I grew up on a family farm, but I, I never did anything growing up to the extent of what I'm doing now on my farm. You've kind of reversed your role. Your role here is working in an urban environment and helping people out. And my role is completely reversed, moving from not caring about farming whatsoever to jumping on a tractor and dropping a plow on the ground and just ripping it up. That's one of the things we try to do is to try to help educate these suburban type folks 
you might have a couple acres, five acres, you know you need a tractor, but you've never had anything like this before at all. And, right. and we really try to help with not lecture type educational things, but rather here's how we use it, here's some maintenance we do, yeah. uh, here's some safety procedures that we always pay attention to, and here's some others that maybe we don't pay as much attention to. We really want to show people how do you actually get the most out of your equipment. You know, one thing I love about YouTube is that we're not really in competition. Nope. You know, no. people don't watch just one video. They're going to watch a video from you, and then hopefully they'll watch a video from me. That's it. I had a lot of people ask, why are you going out and see Tractor Time with Tim? I said, because I want to learn from him. And he wants to learn from me, and we all want to teach you, and we aren't at each other's stretch. You're not, <laughs> you're, I'm the only tractor guy, you know. We're not like that. It's just, it's about friendship. It's about fellowship and, and enjoying this life and sharing it with you. Yeah, that's one of our biggest joys is uh, interacting with the viewers, yeah. interacting with our clients, our customers. We, we never thought that would be a joy, but it is for us. Yeah. We, we meet really cool people, and we try to share that in our videos. We try to interview our customers, our clients, right, and, right. and, and we, we just find that to be another positive aspect. So one of the differences between Tim's channel and my channel is he does have a small place. So the things that he's doing are, are very diverse. In other words, he, he may go and, and fix this guy's yard one day, or he may go plow up or till up this guy's garden, or he may help this guy tear up a fence. or you know. So there's all sorts of diversity with him where I'm planning, here's the next big project on the farm. Tim's planning, all right, we've got to go over to Billy's house and tear down his fence tomorrow. Yeah. So. And be prepared for whatever call comes in the next day. Exactly. And whatever yeah. bees nest you get into that you didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> that does happen, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So check out Tractor Time with Tim, and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on this Farm Stock 2018 voyage. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. See you guys. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Big smiles, big goofy. <laughs> well, you've got a camera, camera woman. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> North Carolina is famous for its moonshine, I guess. A <laughs> uh, little shine driving. Yeah, do you make any moonshine out there on the... Uh... No, no moonshine. Is there anything else you might... Burn? Woo! Okay, I can do it. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the farm. I'll take... <laughs>